to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. My name is uh, Chef Douglas McNish. I am the chef here at Raw Aura Organic Cuisine in Port Credit, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. This is a completely organic, 100% uh, raw restaurant. I'm uh, back again. I'm actually going to show you guys now how to make a red beet ravioli stuffed with a creamy cashew red pepper dill ricotta cheese. And um, I actually love this recipe. It's a very popular one here at the restaurant. Um, in raw food, we don't have any flour. We don't have any gluten. We uh, make everything from vegetables. So people are always asking me, well, how do you make ravioli from vegetables? Or how do you make spaghetti? Or how do you make pasta? How do you make lasagna? There's a few little tips and tricks and techniques. This is a red beet, so beetroot. Very good for the blood, very cleansing. Very high in vitamin C very good source of iron. The, um, the, the quality in the iron is wonderful. I've cut both ends off. I've peeled it. One of the great things about this now is too, it's local. So it's organic and it's local. So I'm going to take my mandolin. You take the beet and all you're going to do is run it down the blade. And this is my actual pasta for the ravioli. So all I'm doing is taking my beet again and sliding it down. I'm going to take my beet uh, slices and I'm going to place them into my bowl. I'm going to take a little bit of extra virgin organic olive oil and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a bath. A little bit of olive oil. I'm going to coat the slices in the olive oil. I'm going to add a tiny bit of organic sea salt and what the sea salt is going to do is it's going to pull out the moisture from the vegetable and it's going to become more pliable. You need to let it sit from Anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes is fine. I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Now, one tip to get lemon juice out of the lemon is give it a little roll ahead of time, and you're just gonna wake up all those juices inside the citrus. Now, the reason I'm adding lemon here is this is highly acidic. So I have done two things here. I've added salt, which is drying out the moisture, and I've added acid. And the acid is actually breaking down the cell walls in the vegetable and making it softer and more pliable. You, I can actually feel and see how it's becoming a lot more flimsy now. I do this same technique with a lot of vegetables. So I'm going to let that sit. And I'm going to work on the filling now for my ravioli. And this is going to be the cashew ricotta cheese. It's not actually dairy cheese. You think about dairy, what it is is, is basically fat. But it's fat that's not beneficial to the body. So. You think about other things in life that have a high fat content but are good for you. Nuts and seeds are definitely those. When you use the right machinery and you manipulate them properly, you get the right consistency and the same flavor, but you get the beneficial fats. For this actual cheese, I'm going to flavor it with half a cup of uh, red bell pepper. This is a little trick I always do with the pepper. I will take both ends off. And then what you want to do is you want to look and see where it's cut through. As long as you can see through the pepper, you want to take your knife and you want to cut right down. So now you have a pepper that's exposed. You take your knife, lay the pepper down flat, make sure your hand is at the top. All you're going to do is you're going to run the knife along the cell walls of the pepper, taking out that white pith. That white pith is bitter, has no nutrition, and it's actually not digestible. So now this is all compost. This is going to go back into the earth to make more soil. At this point you just want to give them a little bit of a rough cut so the food processor does not have to do as much work. Anytime you're making a nut cheese or a pate or anything like this you want to put the, the vegetables or the flavoring ingredients in first. Reason being you don't want big chunks of anything at the end. You want it to get, you want it to get pureed at first. So I have half a cup of red pepper. I'm going to put two large cloves of garlic. I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. You always want to get your liquids in at the beginning because that's going to help move around the vegetables and make a proper puree. I'm going to add a little bit of dried dill here. If you have fresh dill, please feel free. I have a little bit of organic sea salt. Again, if you are using sodium in your diet, you want to make sure it's the best quality salt possible. And lastly, this is a little ingredient we have in the raw food world. This is nutritional yeast. Now, nutritional yeast is an inactive yeast. It's grown on molasses specifically for consumption for human beings. There's two great things about it. One, it makes things cheesy. It also is full of B12.
and I'm going to get it going. Now, whenever you're working with a food processor, you always want to stop it at the beginning, halfway through, and give it a little bit of a scrape down. So I'm going to put the lid back on, and one last time. So here are my cashews. I have two cups of soaked cashews. The reason you soak most things in the raw food world is, and they're staged when they're dry and raw, they're something called dormant. Dormant meaning they're almost like a dead food. Water is the energy of life. You think about it, our bodies again are composed of mostly water. You soak nuts and seeds, they become active. They become a living food for a few reasons. One, they're much easier to digest. Two, although this is high in fat, beneficial fat, you do want to take as much as you can out to remain felt and beautiful. And so in the soaking water, you're losing some of that fat. So I've soaked these for about two hours. I've drained the water off. They're nice and soft. They're, they're easy to work with now. You always want to stop it, scrape it down, make sure you're getting all the bits from the bottom. And that, that way, everything is incorporated properly. So that's it. My cashew cheese is done now. As you can see, it has the beautiful consistency. I call it ricotta cheese because now it's, it's similar texture to that of dairy ricotta cheese. But again, beneficial fats. It's also easier for digestion. Digestion is one of the keys to proper health, maintaining weight loss, and an overall good aura. So I'm gonna set this into a bowl. And I'm going to show you guys now how to assemble my ravioli. I absolutely love this dish. You could replace this uh, ricotta cheese filling with anything you like. This could be a puree of mushroom and eggplant. This could be green pepper and celery. Um, you could do anything with this. So I have my beets that have been marinating now. As you can see, they're much softer. It's almost like a fresh pasta. I'm going to take my beets lay them down on the board. You know, it's important to make time in your life to eat properly and to do the things that count. This benefits the mind, it benefits the body, the soul. It's good for you, good for the environment, and it's good for the animals as well. You know, when I first made my switch over to being vegan, vegetarian at first, I was actually working the grill in a steakhouse. I was responsible for cooking for a professional sports team. I was cooking about 200 steaks a night. And one night, I was shown a video. And I saw this video of these animals being tortured and abused. And what I, what I saw scared me. And I took a vow that night not to eat meat ever again. And I was scared at first. I didn't know what I was going to do. And uh, I did reading. And slowly over time, I learned to understand that food nourishes the body, food nourishes the mind. And what you put into your temple, which is your body, is the most important thing. And I think this is a perfect example of what can be done with just a few simple ingredients and a little bit of knowledge. Just a little bit of knowledge. So I'm going to take my cashew ricotta cheese, put it right inside. Now you don't want to put too much here. You don't want to overcrowd. You want to make sure that there is enough beet to wrap around the ricotta, the cashew ricotta cheese. All I'm going to do is take my beet, pinch it around the outsides, and it actually starts to take shape and look like a traditional ravioli. So I'm just going to repeat that really quickly. I would love to be able to cook for whole sports teams and, and get them healthy. And I mean, imagine a whole sports team in a league and that one sports team decided to go vegan and they ate the healthiest diet possible. I guarantee they would win the championship that year. I'm gonna take one of my beautiful platter plates here and I'm gonna show you presentation. So I'm gonna use my paring knife. I'm just gonna gently place the ravioli on the platter. So 
every good ravioli, every good pasta needs a sauce. What I've done ahead of time, and I've provided Supreme Master TV with, is a recipe. This is my roasted red pepper sun-dried tomato basil marinara sauce. Absolutely delicious. Local tomatoes, local, local uh, garlic and basil. All it is is a puree. It's a proper proportion of the right things put together. It tastes delicious. So I'm going to take some. All I'm going to do is spoon this right over the ravioli. You don't want to put too much sauce because you do want to taste that delicious cheese and the fresh beets. Now as a chef, I'm always thinking texture as well. So a customer sits down at the table and they bite into this. It's delicious, but it's all the same sort of texture. That's when I come back to my cashew ricotta cheese. I'm going to take it and I'm going to place one, two, three. In professional cooking, you generally want to put odd numbers on a plate. We as human beings, we see food, we see garnishing, we always are attracted more to odd numbers. I'm going to finish with two last things. Little bit of dried basil. Again, I don't have fresh basil, but feel free to use fresh basil here. Just a little bit. And my one last thing is some beautiful organic extra virgin olive oil. Not necessary, but I like to add just a little bit. I think it adds a little bit of pizzazz. This is red beet ravioli stuffed with a cashew red pepper dill ricotta cheese and a roasted red pepper basil marinara sauce. And I think uh, once you eat this way, the more and more your body will thank you. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good day and uh, please try the recipe at home. Thank you. Visit Chef Douglas McNish and Raw Aura Organic Cuisine only at veganchefdoug.com and www.raw-aura.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.